So the biggest change that we're making right away in Taken King is your light level is being brought in and grandfathered in as your character level. Okay. So your level 34 on the left side there yep. is now your character level. I mean, this is what you earn by increasing XP. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're a level 34 or a level 32 or a level 30, yeah. any character from year one, when you first log in to 2.0, yeah. we'll grandfather your character in and we'll basically just boost you up to the level that you always have been all through the last, uh, last year. So how are you calculating this level, fourth, this level 34 character? We're going to take a look at the gear that's on all your characters okay. in your vault, like just all over the place, and we'll figure out where your best character would be. So okay. you don't have to worry about anything like, you know, logging in the night before and mm -hmm. equipping the right stuff so that you actually are level 34 when you start taking King. Everything in my inventory, everything in my vault, yep. put it together into a big mathematical atom smasher. Yep. We determine your level. Pro tip for you at home, don't dismantle a thing before this game comes out, because yeah. we're going to take stock of what you have, and we're going to determine what level your character is. So how does this go up? So this is simple experience. I mean, you can play patrols, you can do strikes, you can play crucible. Like, yeah. anything that's earning you XP is going to bring your level up. So this is, this is just like reaching level 20 was mm -hmm. in year one, and, you know, in Taken King, the level cap increases to 40, so you'll be able to level up get access to new gear, new equipment, yeah. and pretty, pretty simple. The key here is that anyone who plays the game, just by playing it, killing monsters, finishing activities, can hit the max level now. Yeah, yeah. okay. So on the right side, we have your light. Yes. So in year one, this was sort of buried on certain pieces of armor, and you never really saw this stat, but it was like the most important thing for you know, getting into the deeper end game. So now this is visible on your top level character screen. Mm -hmm. It's actually just a product of all your gear now instead of being a single stat on like just a couple pieces of armor. Mm -hmm. So if you look at a helmet, for example, sure. you see you've got 190 defense. Yeah. And defense and attack, they both just combine together. It's kind of an average and okay. shows up on your character. So as my your light, light level. level is an average of my attack and defense on my entire character. That's right. So, so all of these 190 items, the yeah. average would be 190. So what's bringing me down right now to uh, 186? You might have a bad item equipped on one of your slots or something like that. See, yeah, you've just got a ghost shell, which is a bit lower level. And ghosts have light now. Yep, ghosts have light now. Um, your class slot has light now. These are all contributing towards making your character stronger. So there's, you know, there's more, there's more to pursue. There's, you're not just doing a raid for mm -hmm. like one of four slots that actually matter. Yep. Everything matters now. Everything's helpful for your character. Everything you do progresses you. Everything that you do contributes to a higher level. If I'm a guy who, and I am, filthy casuals of the world unite, if I'm a guy who likes to go out of patrol while I enjoy the company of some friends, if I like to go into the crucible and fail miserably with people who are better at the game than mm -hmm. myself, I will reach that level cap. Yeah, you will reach level 40, absolutely. You always tell an interesting story about what was it, the meme of uh, Forever 29? Yeah, like last year, you know, it, this happened to a lot of people where when light level was the thing that you chased, it wasn't in your control, right? Like you had to get the, the boots, was it, in the raid to, sure, to yeah. level 30? And the difference between level 30 and level 29 mm -hmm. was pretty substantial. And yeah. now, like, light is a three digit number, and, and you know, nine or ten different items can contribute to it. Mm -hmm. and, and, like, what, why is that number so important? So, for example, in this case, in year one, going from 29 to 30, I mean, that was something like a 30% swing in how much damage you didn't took. It was yeah. a big, big difference. Uh, the light is more granular now, so mm -hmm. you can make a little bit of progress, you know, uh, you like to say, it's nice to go on and bump things up by one step, like, you don't have to wait several weeks for a drop that is not yeah. happening yeah. for you when, so it's to, like, make logical. progress. There's a more logical path between me and my next leveling up. So yep. as I level up more, as I reach higher levels of, you know, orders of magnitude, what does that do for me? So once you hit level 40, you're capped, mm -hmm. but that's what's going to give you access to some of the better gear that's available. You have a few pieces of this in your inventory right now, so like, yeah. here's a level 40 item that, you know, is 280 defense, so sure. when you get to level 40 and you're able to equip that, yeah. you're going to see a nice big bump in your light level. Right. So for you at home, uh, that is equipped for demonstration purposes only. You're not going to walk into the tower on your first day yeah. with endgame gear. Uh, these legendaries are things that you'll acquire in playing the Taken King content, but it won't be available to you until you level up. 
to level 40. Uh, here's something else I want to ask, because it looks like you're doing some, some different things here. We still have intellect and discipline there. and strength. Yeah. So strength, for example, uh, because your melee ability is unlocked on this test character, yeah. It's showing you what your actual cooldown for that ability is going to be. Mm -hmm. uh, discipline and intellect, test character, not unlocked yet. Yeah. But all these will show you how many seconds like your cooldown it actually is, mm -hmm. instead of just being sort of a, a weird percentage number that you yeah. really just kind of had to guess. This has made me really value gear a lot more. Like, it, you know, in, the, in Destiny 1, in the live game right now, um, I, I see discipline, I see intellect, I see strength. And it says, yeah, it's going to speed this thing up, but I never know how much. So like, yep. I kind of just don't care about it. But mm -hmm. now I can see, hey, I just equipped this item, and I went from 55 seconds to 48. Yep. And I'm like, well, I'm, you know, I, I love the Stormcaller, and his new super is incredible. And so I'm going to maximize intelligence. Like, I'm looking for gear that has intelligence so I can cast my super as fast as possible, as yep. frequently as possible. Yep. Cool.